I just stumbled across walking. I tripped over this piece, which feels like a thin piece of metal. 200 acre farm in the middle of Texas, looking for a space shuttle today. That's right, the Columbia blew up back in 2003. There were pieces all over this area, and one of the things is, before I tell you, Today's episode sponsor is gonna be Bespoke because they said, Jared, you guys need like a day off and we wanna sponsor that. We wanna sponsor one of your fun episodes. Today's that episode. So we're gonna talk more about Bespoke Post in just a few minutes later on in the video. But the thing is, tell me about it. Space Shuttle, what are the I, odds? I, I, I'm just blown away. I've just, I've been thinking about this since I first heard about it. I can't believe we're actually here right now. We're on the property. And there's nobody better to tell this than the family, so we're gonna bring them into it. Like, happening right, editing magic, just like that. We're here with Suzette <laughs> and Curtis. Part of the, and tell us, I mean, this is like a family farm that's been in the family since the 1800s. Yes. And so let's kind of dive into the, you guys were out at the property. You had a bunch of lily pads at the time. Take the story from there as to, the space shuttle. The pond was covered in lily pads. And then we had the space shuttle Columbia that came apart over East Texas. And we did find pieces on the property and NASA did come out and retrieve them. But we came out a couple of weeks after that and some of the lily pads had turned over and there was like mud pushed up or an island had pushed up. NASA was called, but they never did come back out and check any of the pond. So whatever is, out there and we believe it to be part of the space shuttle should still be out there so so my thoughts my concerns on this one dan in fact i'm going to bring you into this is uh part of my concern is is that you've done some research on this yeah and tell me about supersonic parts flying from you know way up in space coming down <laughs> how do you think this is going to be laying if there's a piece in there so so i i believe 38 percent of the shuttle has been recovered which probably leaves 25 30 percent of just it's been disintegrated it's gone but the rest of that still remains. So I think there's gonna be a bunch of itty bitty small pieces. We'll pop a picture up right now. They actually have a huge warehouse where they've assembled all the recovered parts in one location. They're really small, most of them, but they do have some big ones. So hopefully we get a big one today. Sam, we oh, yeah. cannot let them down. They've been wondering since 2003. Yes. If there's a space, they almost, that's almost 20 years. 20 years. That they've been wondering about this. Oh yeah, and the kids have been hearing stories. And this is like family lore. Uh -huh. This is like the legend. The legend of the lost space shuttle parts. <laughs> Somewhere over here on this side is where they had pointed us to. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna kind of go over. Right about here. Yep, do a perimeter search and scan yeah. and we'll change the settings on this. Right now it's only you know two and a half feet deep. So I can see why it's not gonna take much to actually make a mud mound out here. So there's, so, there's something right here. No, 100%. 100%? Yes, 100% we have something. We have something in here. Sam. <laughs> oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Yes! Sam. Okay, look. Put your head over here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Uh -huh. I'm trying to drive. Look at this. Right, oh my right goodness. There. Oh my goodness. That is something that right is, there. Oh, that's totally a thing. 100% something. Oh. oh, Jared. All right. We have something in the lake. Yeah, yeah I can't wait to see that. Oh, that, uh, that is not a normal lake, something right there. No, that's definitely not a normal lake. So, oh that my is, goodness. And that is rough. Dude, we're going we're gonna to find like real space shuttle parts. Yes. Oh, oh here comes the money man. There he is. Look at him. He has the appropriate gear to grab the things already. Yes. If you want to put me on a spot. <laughs> you going to reach down and grab it? Yeah, we're like one foot, two foot. Yeah, I, I, I flew my drone and looked at your screen and saw it was only two feet. Yeah. All right. He, oh is pseudo, he, he doesn't even want you to have, you know, the privilege of getting in the water. No. He's like, I'm in it. He, he's, he's already there. He's like, he's like, I'm the cameraman, but not today, boys. I am suited and ready to go. <laughs> put me on the spot. He said, put me on it. You want to shuttle me out there? Shuttle you? Good yeah. choice of words. <laughs> we'll totally shuttle you out. <laughs> yeah, we'll shuttle you. Come on, come on down, Dan. And hopefully he'll reach down to right, come up with a piece. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Go for it. Oh, I'm gonna take the waiters off. <laughs> I just put you on it. Now you want to get out? Come on now. I need to take them off because I'm definitely going deeper than waiters. All right. He's wet all the way up to his chest already. I'm just gonna take my shirt off too. <laughs> People are gonna think we're so professional. Oh yeah, totally. 
bunch of hillbillies out yucking it up. Right here, right here. Right here. Right here. All right, Dan, go. Right there? Right yeah. there. Yes. Here's where Dan is at. This is Dan. And this is what we have right look. Oh look yeah, oh yeah, passing. oh yeah, oh yeah. So you right need there, to go right to your there. right. Oh yes, Dan. By like three feet. <laughs> is it big? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you serious? This is not a log. Do you have it? <laughs> oh no! Come on, Dan! Dan! <laughs> <laughs> What a showman with his eyes. This is not a log. Jeez, Dan. You, that could be a space shuttle tire. It's yeah, totally it not. Be. It could be. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Positive. Why does it say NASA on the side? <laughs> here, here, push, push this back this way, Dan. Dan, though, let's go to the other one. Yeah, your your shadow. So this is Dan, and then this is the other shadow. Look, is it a tire? He won't even tell us. I don't know where it is. I'm not on anything. I promise. Oh. Did you find it? Whoa. Oh, damn. You, 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 you know what that is? That's like, whoa, it's yeah. another tire. That's what yeah. that is. No, I don't think so. Are you serious? Uh, it's a tire. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Dude, we're ready. We've been ready. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Stupid. Ooh. All right, well, we have two non-space shuttle tires yeah, now. Two non-space shuttle tires. All right, so you're getting out here, and then we're going to take these across the way. Hold it, hold it. Does that work? Yeah, it's a good run. Yes. <laughs> I'm cool. All right. Yeah. Well, you get out, you get warmed up. Go take a hot shower. We got the RV over there. And then we're going to go dump these off. You know, right now, I'm just thinking that this family in Texas made up this great big story. Yeah. that, hey, we want, we want to meet the guys at AWP. Did y'all find anything worth diving for? Uh, we, we did find a, um, a shape, kind of a, uh, almost looks like a panel. Really? Um, there's more so over there. We were just scanning the whole area. These here look like they were small and easy to find, so we wanted to check that out first. And just like that, Sam is back. I'll <laughs> shoot it up. And Dan, Dan is in the RV, and he yeah. actually has like a tinge of hypothermia. Yes, yes, so we had to throw Dan in the shower to get warmed up, and uh, he'll be with us again shortly. Well, while you were uh, getting ready, I was actually out here scanning, and coming up on this little cove right here with that plant right there, and you'll we'll see it on sonar, it appears to be, da 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 I'm gonna show you guys right now, this appears to be, there it is. What do you guys think that is? Boom, ba dum boom. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, a space shuttle part. I'm gonna say it's probably a tire. Uh, I'm saying, I'm saying that's a tire. Yeah, but it, but I'm you never know. Yep. Right on top of it. Right here. Yep. So I'm not gonna pull a Dan. Okay. There's no need to get excited. This is a tire. 100. Yeah, but it's a space shuttle tire. Well, it feels different than regular tire. All right. That tire matches the other tire. Yep. Got another tire. Today. Yeah, I'm really looking for a, like just a scrap of a space shuttle. <laughs> Going down and filling the tire, it was like, wah, wah, wah. Oh, look, they made a fire for Dan. Thanks for cleaning the bond. Oh, no problem. That's what we're here for. And there's also hope for finding one more tire because normally cars have four, so. So we want to thank today's episode sponsor who is Bespoke Post. With that, first of all, do you do you missed what we did with Dan last time? So Dan got his own Bespoke Post box. In fact, we're gonna bring Dan back. I, I saw that, I was a little jealous. And they had me fill out a little quiz as to you know Dan last time. But this time they said, we know you guys better now. Uh, we know that you're on the road, and as such, they sent me a bunch of nice gifts for you guys. And Bespoke Post, what it is, is it's a okay. subscription service. With that one, you spend $45 on your monthly box, you get $70 in value. You can choose to accept your box, review your box, send it back if you don't like your box. But the great thing about it is, I think they picked something out really good for you guys that you're gonna enjoy. We have Dan also gets one of these, and then 
I think that um, Kevin, since he's kind of been new hanging out with us, he gets, to he gets an extra present today. So oh, Dan, okay. jump in here. Awesome. We have a present right. for you. Right. I can't lift it. I get two? You get two today. All right. I'm better than both of you guys. So I, I'm, I say that you guys just kind of like open them all up and kind of talk right, about your uh, new little present. Yeah. Now, although I filled out you know the quiz last time for Dan, anybody can go to Bespoke Post, fill out the quiz for free. And the link is in the description. All right. All right, so what I have is Wait, this. I didn't know you were getting that. Well, it's too late. It's already been oh, gifted to the oh, Nomad there was some, It's not the same oh. as what's in here. Oh, that's pretty awesome. That, For van life, this is a must. Dude, that's awesome, man. Look at that bare bones filled hatchet. That's sweet. I would have kept the box yeah, myself right? had I known well, that. Well, now it's too late, Jared. Now this is mine. Yes! Oh, oh there's more. Oh, there's more? Uh oh Pole start fire oh, starters. Dude, I've never seen those. Uh, they're really cool. It says that you loop this green string over a log to secure it. Really? You build a structure of log. You pull the red starting quick and hard to start, and then your fire started. That's crazy. Whoa. Pull start fire. I no, never, I never it's seen no really lighter cool. needed. Yeah. That's wild. I never, I didn't even know that was a thing. I've never Thank even you. heard of it. Thank all you. All right, bespoke. here we go, guys. This is what I got here. Bespoke. Oh man, I can already tell this looks like some kind of shaving uh, set or something. That's the, the vibe I'm getting on this. Real nice case. Oh yeah, it looks like it's got some moisturizer stuff in there. It looks like different shaving creams, moisturizing, <laughs> some lotion. I need some lotion for my hands. Wait, what's what the difference doing. between moisturizer and lotion? Uh, one uh, starts with an M, the other one starts with an L. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we got some toothpaste. Looks like some beard oil and some shampoo and some different things. I'm gonna open one of them up and just give it a little smell. Beard oil. Well, that's actually perfect for you. Oh, it smells good. It has a nice, uh, yeah. nice, nice, nice hint of a, a eucalyptus. Oh yeah, that, that's nice. Yeah. Thank you, Bespoke. All right, Dan. All right, what did Dan seem, get? They seem two out of two so far. Let's see if, how they did on this one. Oh yeah. Look at that. Dapper uh -huh. Dan. Little. Look, look, it matches the green. Like Dan is yeah. into green, green, green. I'm very into forest green. And the other yeah. day when we actually stayed at a hotel over in Nashville, like. I kind of felt bad for Dan because he didn't have anything to carry his stuff in. <laughs> now, look at that. I have something. <laughs> there you go. That's actually pretty high quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always high quality from Bespoke. Yeah. I don't know how they Line do it. Trade. Forty-five it's bucks. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, what? There's more. Oh, we got some. I love these kind energy bars. Excellent. Yeah. Wonderful. Got a couple Good. of those. For... So I actually have no idea what's in your box right, then. See what you got there, Kevin. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, looks like... We have. Oh, so, oh look like uh, another, another lotion another, bag. Yeah, little, little bag of lotion. So let me tell you as a van lifer how important lotion is. Because if you don't have a high top van and you can't stand up in it, you're doing most of your stuff on your knees. You're making your food, you're changing your clothes, you're feeding the dogs, and with the carpet, my knees are pretty chapped up. So yeah, in fact, if this you, will work in out fact if when he wears shorts, his knees kind of look like a foot. <laughs> a prehistoric riverbed. <laughs> yeah. So I think that what we learned from Bespoke Post is if you, you know, don't have any ideas for upcoming birthdays, holidays, in fact, Father's Day will be coming up, it comes up every single year. Birthdays for your friends and family come up every single year. I would say that Bespoke Post is an incredible sponsor to have and we want to thank them for bringing us back out here keep us on the road and giving us you know a day off on our cold case adventures that you see us on often the link is in the description like i said it's free to fill out the little survey and if you like what it is that they have picked out for you 45 dollars a month you can cancel it anytime you can review it you can send them back you can trade out your boxes like i i would i'm kind of jealous yeah well you can't have it this is mine yes thank you very much let's get back to the show so you're suited up now, Jared. Yes. We're going to do a kind of a circular, putting the weight down on the very bottom. I'm putting a line on it, and then I'll let the line out roughly five feet every time I go out and around, and I'll have a metal detector as well. So that way if there's anything under the mud, let's see if we can find it. All right, all right, let's do it. See what you go that way, and then you push it that way, then you go the other way, like that. All right, that's how you do it. Right here? Perfect. Watch your head there. And then I'll take, as I put this on, I'll take the uh, metal detector. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. All right, Jared, while you're doing your surf or your pattern, yeah. I'm just going to go start walking around and see what I can find. All right, have fun. Later, later. Bye bye. Later, later. I found a piece of something over here. It's uh, partially buried and there's wires on it. No way. Serious. Shut up. Oh, serious. 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 100%. It's, it's underground. I'll get it out. Big portion of it. So right now, I was actually walking along. I was a little, just kind of catching my breath from mucking through the water. And I looked down there, and I see that turtle shell. I was actually I was actually going to go down and look at that turtle shell. 
And then on the way down to the turtle shell, I noticed there's this piece of uh, something or other with wires on it. And it, it, and it is under partially underground. And this here, looks like it's some kind of, uh, I don't know, some kind of wiring or something. Oh, it's on the bullet. See that? Some kind of... I think that's just a root, Sam. Is it a red root? Yeah, they have red roots around here. You got here. red roots? No. Are you serious? You guys got red roots? That's a root. Oh man. Look at this. It's a pine cone. <laughs> right? I think it came hey, go from ahead space. And jump down it can stay in the water. Yeah, I've just been advised that Sam has identified a tree root. Yes, he has. Way to go, Sam. <laughs> I was actually walking over there because I saw this super cool turtle shell sitting upside down. But on the way there, just the little corner of this metal piece was just poking out. And Dan was uh, Dan was actually inspecting it. And you can see where there's some type of weaving right here. It just has weaving, it has rivets. Um, it's definitely you know lightweight metal. It might be space grade. Yeah, realistically, it's Real either realistically. part of a car or part of the space shuttle. I mean, I don't... Because it does have fabric on yeah, it. I definitely, and I definitely had to dig it up. Here, let me see it. I'm gonna say no on this one. Yeah, I don't, I think it's just a part of a car or something sitting out here. Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't been on the inside of a space shuttle before. I know they did, I know they definitely didn't put chrome trim on the outside of it. Uh, <laughs> no, do, do, uh, do a really close up of that, Dan, and ask him in the comment section below, did we find a piece of the space shuttle? I'm gonna go with, I don't think so. I what? mean, and I'm going to go with, I have no idea. Um, but it's a lightweight metal, has the riveting, you can see the fabric there. You know, our viewers are so smart that one of them is going to find and identify exactly what it is. Yeah. Off the exact year of whatever it is that it came off Absolutely. of. Absolutely. And it's be like something absurd, it's like, how do they figure that out? Yep, totally. Hope so. But I, don't, I definitely don't see any, uh, any markings on it. But then like you said, this could just be like a little junk piece from uh, who knows what. I mean, if it was on the space shuttle, I imagine this would be some kind of thing in the electrical box. Do we call NASA out right now, or should we wait a minute or two? I'd probably wait a minute or two. I don't think we should call NASA. I don't, I don't think they're gonna be. They're not gonna be thrilled with us. So thrilled with that no, piece. No, so. so that means you gotta find something, Jared. All right. So I found something, Jared. I'm going back in. I'm gonna... Oh, it's a tree. Yeah, I did too. Sam and Jerry just called us back over. They have something. As we're cruising across here, you can actually feel like how the sand of the mud is actually really soft right here. Mm -hmm. And then there's actually a hard embankment right here. I, Sam here. I just stumbled across walking. I tripped over this piece, which feels like a thin piece of metal. So I don't have my gear on, obviously. Uh, Jared's getting his on. Right now I have the metal sandwich between my feet and he's gonna dry, dive down and give it a fill. Yeah, so follow my knees down, man. You'll feel it, or follow my legs. It's sandwiched between my legs right now. Follow your legs, between yep. your legs. Yep, yep. <laughs> down, down. I don't think the space shuttle will use wood. No, probably not. Dang it. Yeah, check out underneath my, my left foot. Yeah, yeah, there's more in there. Not a space shuttle. <laughs> Why is your dresser? It's like a dresser or something. Like a dresser? Box. Not a space shuttle. Sorry, Dan. It's okay. Dan, I say it's time for the magnetometer. I think so too. This mud is deep. Yeah. Mm. The what light? The magnetometer. What that'll do is there's a uh, drone that has a magnetometer underneath, underneath of it and it will tell us if there's any metal under the surface here in the pond. And that is our next move. Environmental cleanup. <laughs> that is the uh, key word of the day. Welcome to the tires we got out, but uh, also, the other word that Dan likes to use is persistence, which means we're not done yet. 
because I think that uh, on our next trip to Texas, magnetometer, magnetometer with Joan, definitely. we definitely have to come back here. At the end of the day, I'm gonna say we didn't lose on this one. No. We have some incredible new friends, so thank you for bringing us to Texas, to your farm. We're also going to be coming back, is gonna be our plan, with a drone, with a magnetometer. I, I'm not ruling this out. I think that you do have something in here. And the big question of the day is, Sam, is this part of the space shuttle? Leave a comment down below, because we actually have no idea. Again, I'm going with no. What do you? What are you guys' thoughts? I yeah. think it is. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, not me. Yeah, I, I think it is. So Maybe. there you go. There's yep. the consensus yeah. on that one. <laughs> Before we wrap up, we also again want to thank Bespoke for sponsoring this, for allowing us and bringing us to Texas and for an incredible day off. So if you are in the market for finding a gift for that special loved one, holiday, birthday, it doesn't matter, check out Bespoke. The link is in the description on that one. On that note, later, later, bye-bye.